from the University of Nebraska-Lincoln Center for Agricultural Profitability, this is Nebraska Farmcast. I'm Ryan Evans. From drones scouting field to real-time data-driven decisions being made, the embrace of technology by U.S. agriculture is expanding with Nebraska at the forefront. A recent USDA NAS survey shows that 77% of Nebraska's farmers and ranchers now integrate computers into their work, a jump from 74% in 2021. Moreover, 85% of farmers and ranchers in the state use smartphones, up by five points from just two years ago. Larry Van Tassel is a professor in agricultural economics at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln and director of our Center for Agricultural Profitability. As a graduate student, he helped survey producers in the 1980s, just as personal computers were beginning to emerge, about their attitudes toward adapting technology to help better manage their operations. He dove into this new USDA report contrasting today's attitudes about tech and ag with the skepticism he found among producers 30 to 40 years ago. And that's in a new article up on our website at cap.unl.edu. And he's here to talk more about the survey, how the perception of using technology in agriculture has evolved, and the important role that it plays in today's decision-making environment. So, Hey, Larry, thanks for joining me again. Pleasure being here, Ryan. So it's so interesting that you looked at the attitudes about technology back in the 1980s as a graduate student in Texas. So can you just talk about that survey that you participated in and what you found out about the attitudes in ag at the time toward technology just as personal computers were coming out? Sure. <clears throat> when personal computers were first introduced, the majority of us did not understand the impact technology would have on our lives. During the early 1980s, most understood the use of computers for record keeping, but few envisioned their use in decision making. This was very evident by some of the comments producers made in our survey. For example, one, made, uh, one manager of a 20,000 acre cattle operation stated, this ranch operation does not require immediate management decisions such as computers provide. Another stated, I make my own business decisions. At that time, only 8% owned a computer, and that was basically larger operations who were using the computer for record keeping. And you have another great uh, quote in the article from that survey about a response uh, asking producers in Texas if computers, if they'd be interested in computers to help their operation, as we said. And uh, this response was simply pencils only cost 25 cents. Yeah. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah, that was classic. <laughs> so uh, fast forwarding to today in 2023, as we said, USDA's National Agricultural Statistics Service just released this new survey about technology used by farmers and ranchers and mentioned that it found computer use is up in Nebraska ag in the last two years to 77%. And smartphone use now up five points uh, to 85%, which is five points more than two years prior. So uh, besides those two aspects, the phones and the computers, what else jumped out to you in the survey? Ryan, I thought it was a good sign that 90% of the state's farmers and ranchers had internet access. It was also interesting that nearly 40% of respondents stated they purchased agricultural inputs over the internet and 31% said they conducted agricultural marketing activities over the internet. I was somewhat surprised, though, that only 25% accessed USDA and NAS reports or other USDA services over the internet, and 25% conducted business with any USDA website. This compares with the 62% that conducted business with non-agricultural websites. I know it looked at precision agriculture, too, as part of using technology, correct? So what did the survey tell us about that? Well, first, a shout out to Nebraska farmers and ranchers, as 55% of them use precision agricultural practices to manage crops or livestock. That is second to only North Dakota, where 57% of producers use this technology. As a reference, 27% of the farmers and ranchers in the U.S. use precision agricultural practices. And as you're aware, precision agriculture gives farmers the ability to more effectively use crop inputs, such as fertilizers, pesticides, and irrigation water, while at the same time 
reducing the environmental impacts from the excess use of these inputs. And if you can expand on that a little bit with precision agriculture continuing to gain traction, these data-driven decision-making points at its core, uh, how do you see this trend influencing uh, profitability and sustainability of farming and ranching in the state here in the years to come? Well, first of all, uh, inputs are becoming so expensive that you cannot afford to overuse them to to produce your crop. And second of all, along those lines, I think it's going to be more important in the future to be environmentally sensitive to what is going on and and the practices that we're using. So precision agricultural uh, agriculture hits at the center of both of those points. And then from the 80s, when you found that farmers and ranchers were hesitant about technology to now, what factors do you see as having been important in driving the embrace of it today, which is continuing to grow as the new survey is pointing out? Well, I'd like to think that the land grant system had an important role to play in this adoption, both in the development of useful technologies and the education provided producers to use that technology. Another factor is the increase in the size of farms and the economies of size associated with that. Technology has been the biggest factor in making labor more productive. And then you write in the article that tech devices are now a necessity if producers want to take advantage of the the wide variety of data that's available out there. So what, in your opinion, is important for producers to understand about integrating technology into their operation? First, software that helps producers make sense of the data is essential. Public and private entities continue to do a pretty good job of that. I think one of the biggest factors, though, is that farmers and ranchers have to be willing to invest time into this process. It takes time to input and analyze data, think through what the data is saying, and then having the expertise and ability to integrate that information into their decision-making process. And advancing available technology, helping users to understand it, as as you mentioned before, continue to be part of uh, land-grant work at universities like UNL and uh, here in Nebraska Extension and the Center for Ag Profitability. So a prime example that we've talked about before is uh, here in the Center for Ag Profitability, the Agricultural Budget Calculator, or ABC. So can you just review this program and how it benefits users as a free web-based application? how it benefits those users who are willing to adapt the technology that's required to use it. I'd love to, Ryan. Uh, the free online ABC program gives the user or guides the user through the enterprise budgeting process. Once the enterprise budgets are completed, there are a variety of decision assistance tools available at the click of a mouse. This includes break-even cost and yields, the ability to choose any input and see how sensitive net returns are to changes in input prices, plus the ability to quickly develop a cash flow budget, among others. The beauty of using the ABC program is that once the enterprise budgets have been developed, they can be copied and modified for use in future years, thus saving a lot of time and effort. ABC currently has over 1,100 users, many of who have found ABC to be very useful in their decision-making. For example, a user recently stated, quote, please count me in as a producer that completely relies on this product for annual planning. Speaking for myself, this tool is a six time or better multiple multiple on my time. If I had to replicate in Excel what you've done, it would take three times as long be half as good, and wouldn't give me the easy-to-read output that I can use to communicate with my stakeholders, be they spouse or banker. So, Ryan, we're excited to to what ABC can add to informed decision-making among Nebraska's producers. Yeah, that's great feedback and great a great example of how technology is really making lives easier and, and operating a business easier now here in 2023. So Larry, thanks so much for your uh, look at the report there and insight on uh, past attitudes toward technology, how that's evolved. It's been my pleasure, Ryan. Thank you. All right, that's Larry Van Tassel, professor in the Agricultural Economics Department here at UNL. 
He is the director of our Center for Ag Profitability, and you can find a link to his article in the podcast notes here or on our website at cap.unl.edu. Thanks for listening. Nebraska Farmcast is a production of the Center for Agricultural Profitability at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. For the latest research-based information and education resources to manage your farm or ranch operation, visit our website at cap.unl.edu. That's cap.unl.edu.